I came to, to see the monastery and the seminary alone. Just my, my wife and children were at home. This was easier for our schedule, things like that, for me to just go check it out. And it wasn't, it wasn't that I was necessarily going to be attending seminary immediately thereafter. It was simply to go check it out and have a sense of the place. In my mind, when he first brought up going to seminary, I thought, this is not what I signed up for. I did not sign up to be a priest's wife. This is crazy. I don't see this for me in my life at all. But he was careful in how often he'd bring it up. And um, so by the time he did mention he wanted to come out for the weekend, the vocations weekend, I'd finally softened up a little bit and thought, okay, this is step one, he can go, we'll see what happens from there. I remember saying to myself, after having you know, gone through vigil and that going, going through the Divine Liturgy, is that you know, if this is here, why would I want to be anywhere else? It was very clear that they were all experiencing something together that they were going through this thing together. And it wasn't just school. It wasn't just that they had an exam the next day. It wasn't that they had papers to write. It was that, that this was a real community of people who were struggling in the most positive sense of the word to, you know, to, to work out their salvation. And, and, and this was the context for that. And, and speaking with some of the students, that reality, that spiritual reality of this place became clear. That was the real convincing factor for me, and my wife can attest to that, that when I called home, she knew. It wasn't just that I had some intellectual realization that, yes, I should be here. It was a much more profound um, shift. And he calls me, and I hear it in his voice that he's changed. I, I could tell something had really affected him being here, and it was really powerful. I was totally struck by it and I knew right away it wasn't are we going to come to sem seminary it was how and when are we going to come to seminary we talked about it and we talked to our priests and it just became clear that what was good what would have been good for us is to go out as a family it was Memorial Day weekend we drove about 14 hours so it was a big trip and you know, I'm, I'm excited because you know, I've been here, this place is amazing. I can't wait to come here, you know. And we come up and there is St. Tikhon's and my wife says, this is it. And I think, oh no, <laughs> because we hadn't decided yet. And it was really, the ball was in her court. I was honestly underwhelmed. It's small, it's rural. There's not too much around here. Um, so I was sort of hesitant to get out. I was nervous to get out of the car, walk around. Um, but we did, and I'd say within an hour, I started to really feel the gravity of this place. The richness of character was revealed in everyone we spoke with. And there was a family here who welcomed us with big arms when we came to visit, and they noticed we were visiting and invited us over for dinner after the first Vespers service. We stayed for an extra six hours. We were just talking, 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 and couldn't leave. And our daughter was swept up with the other kids. She was having so much fun. When we finally did leave their house, I could feel it in my heart that I, I want to see them again. And my heart really started to soften. And I thought, there's something here. And the next thing I know, my wife is asking about places to live. And meanwhile, we're meeting people, we're seeing, getting tours, doing this and that. And somehow she's finding time to call landlords. So the next thing I know, we have a few houses to visit. The first house was not great. And I was sorely disappointed. And I thought, I couldn't do it if I had to live here. Um, second place, beautiful, amazing. And I thought, you know, if I could live here, I could do it. She's beaming, she's looking around and she's like, oh my goodness, okay. And, uh, and it's all clicking for her. 
well, the place is taken. And the landlord said, you know, if anything should happen, I'll let you guys know. So we, we got back, we were processing our time here, talking a lot about it. We still hadn't even looked each other in the eye and said, let's apply, not yet. But we knew we had to go talk to our priest and we set up a time to meet. And um, he said, well, what do you think? How was it? What did, what did you think? And finally, I just heard myself say, I think we should go. And John looked at me, kind of startled. He wasn't expecting me to say it. So our priest gave us his blessing. And then we went out to our car. I checked my phone, and I'd missed a call from the landlord here with the apartment we, we wanted, saying, the apartment's yours if you want it. And we just looked at each other and thought, oh my goodness, this is really happening. It was starting to feel very out of our hands, just things were, were coming together and we almost had no other choice but to come. Having the vision, having the knowledge of where we were going to and what we were going to do made that transition beautiful. Being here is true training for a woman who will be a priest's wife. You have to be strong. We have never doubted coming here, and we've never been wanting in anything. I remember when I spoke with someone during our visit, they said, you cannot worry about the money. You, ca you cannot worry about any of that stuff. God will provide it. Watch, God will provide it. And he's not just going to, to just give you a little bit. He's really gonna be generous to you, and you'll, you'll be amazed at the things that God gives you. And that's been our experience. I'm excited about the remaining of this year and next year because it's, it's, that, it's a spiritually active place. That's really what it's about here.